Coach Jack back here, y'all. But before I even get started, I want to let you know I have a free editing training for you in the link in my description. Listen, you need to learn how to edit better so you can have better work. So I provided you a free training below. But today in this video, I want to show you guys how to get rid of flyaway hairs on your client. Very easy, very, very, very simple. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm using the clone stamp tool. When I use the clone stamp tool, I want to sample from the area that I'm trying to replace the flyaways with. So I'm sampling from here, and I'm just dragging across the flyaways. It's a real quick and easy tutorial. I know a lot of our clients, um, mainly women, and they be having flyaways on their hair. So I just want to show you guys how to do this right quick. As you see, I'm just going around. I'm using a soft brush as well. I'm not using a hard brush. Let's actually see. Let's go hard brush. So I sample. You're going to hold option or alternate on your keyboard. Click and drag. And just go over what you have wanted to sample. All right. But as you see, it's hard. It's harsh. So that is why I use a soft brush to make that happen. So. Same thing, sampling from right here, going over everything. And you want to sample from the same area. And don't mind if you make mistakes and as you see, like it's kind of gray and darker on one area. What we're going to do is take our patch tool, circle around that area that may look bad and drag it. It's real simple, all right? Same thing up here. Coming along. Just going over her hair. And I can take away the clips. The clips aren't going to make that big of a deal. Just taking my time. Sampling from different areas and going around her hair. Now, on this, I have to be a little bit tighter because I don't want to sample from here and then put that on there, right? So, I'm using the clone stamp tool. So, I want to sample, just tie and drag over. So, all you doing, like I said, y'all, you sampling from one area, right? You hold, click alternate, click the area that you want to sample from, and then drag what you want the distance to be. So, like, for example... If I want the sample from here, I need to get it all and put it right here. I need to sample first and then drag. And now you're going to see that my cursor is all the way over there. But since I'm tight, I need to sample from right here and drag closer because I don't want my sample to come from over here, which is what I'm doing right now. Real super easy. Knocking those flyaways out. Still keeping the hair looking natural as best as we can. Let's look at it before and after so far. Before, after. Before, after. Looking good. Let's do a little bit more. bit more I'm gonna come on this side and just get a little bit more busier inside of here I have to be a little bit more careful because I have the baby thing We're going to sample from the baby thing and just clone stamp it on the clothes as well. To make that happen. Making my brush smaller too. As I get closer in these tighter areas. All right. It's all about where you sample from. 
how, how tight or close that you are sampling. Boom. Before, after. Before, after. That is how you remove flyaways from your clients on Photoshop. But remember, go take the full editing training that I have, a free gift to you. Um, use the link in my bio. Yo, I'm thinking it's Instagram. Use the link in my description uh, to go take that full editing training. You need the editing training. You want to ensure that your images are coming out great for your clients. So I am attached that below. Make sure you go take the training. I do provide a test image for you so that you can follow along with me. I promise you, you need to get better at editing. So don't pass up on a free opportunity when it is there. Until the next video, Coach Jet out.